of our Space Cat animation project for computer animation. Um, and what we're going to be doing in this particular part of the project is adding some color using gradients and um, in our paint bucket. Uh, very kind of basic stuff, but going over the basics early on in our course. Um, first part one was just getting the drawing down, so what we should have be looking at here is one layer that has our drawing on it and another layer which I have locked currently and made invisible, which is the sketch that I did of Space Cat. So actually this layer with the sketch we could trash at this point and just keep the layer of our drawing. So uh, what we'll do to get started is we're going to fill in this rocket with some gradients. So let's go over how to uh, get a gradient. So we'll go to our color palette up in the top bar here and I'm going to go down to linear gradient and you'll notice that when I go there it's going to give me a shift of one color from uh, one color to another and what we want to do is kind of choose your first color here to be something on the lighter side um, really whatever your preferences is is fine and then on this other side we want something darker so something pretty dark almost black would be good um, that might be a dark purple but it's hard to tell but that will work for now so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and take my paint bucket tool and I'm going to fill so I'm going to click in this area now what you're noticing here is that doesn't look like a very good gradient um, so what I'm going to do is use my gradient transform tool if I click and hold on my free transform tool and then go down to gradient transform I'll get that I'm going to click on this gradient I can see one of my controls here but I think this gradient actually uh, area is kind of huge so what I'm going to do is zoom out I'm going to click on my magnifying glass hold the option key switches to zoom out and I'm going to zoom it back one more step and then click back on my gradient transform tool and now I can actually see the controls that I need here. I'm going to take this arrow and drag this way 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 and actually go all the way past my gradient here make that small and then I'm going to move this gradient center point all the way back in here. Now we can kind of see what's going on. I'm also going to rotate this gradient so it goes straight up and down and there we go so if I zoom back in you can see now I have a nice kind of fade of a gradient going it's just gonna help make this rocket appear a little more three-dimensional like it actually has some roundness to it so let's go ahead and do us another different gradient actually we could do um, the one at the tail because the tail and the tip of the rocket should match for the most part so there we go I just filled it in that spot I'll go back to my gradient transform tool I think I'm gonna have to use the same technique I did before if I scroll over the side here I can see my controls for this and so again I'm gonna squish it way in slide my cursor back over and slide that way down actually and then this center point we want to move and put it in the center of the tail here and then I'm gonna click and drag this spot and there we go we'll get another nice kind of fade there that looks good and it makes this um, again just appear a little more three-dimensional so let's mix up another new gradient so I'm going to go back to my color palette up here and I'm going to use a slightly different color for this lighter color um, so that it kind of contrasts what I have on the ends Oops. so I'm going to hit command Z uh, right now I have this gradient selected so if I just click out here so I have nothing selected it won't change that gradient um, that I already have I don't want that to change yet um, so I'm going to actually try and make this green a little bit lighter. That looks decent, but let's go a little bit lighter. That looks good. Cool. So again, I'm going to take my fill bucket now with a gradient. You should see that in your fill area and go ahead and fill it. Now again, I'm going to have to use my transform tool and click on this gradient. Um, if I scroll over to the right, I can see these controls kind of hiding over here. I'm not sure why it keeps making them that big but relatively easy fix once you get used to using the gradient transform tool. I'm going to rotate that a little bit, um, maybe stretch it out just a tiny bit more, and that looks pretty good for my gradient. Maybe I'll rotate it just a slight more. Cool. So uh, that looks good. The rest of the image we'll just go ahead and fill in just a solid color. So if I want to fill now a solid color instead of gradient, We'll go back to my paint palette and then just change this to solid color. Um, so now, um, whatever I choose from here, my usual kind of typical paint colors to choose from, um, 
these is what I'm going to use to fill the rest of my Space Cat graphic with. All right, I'm actually going to, oh, there we go, got that. I was going to say, I'm going to leave the flames um, empty, actually. We're going to actually remove them and replace them with the fire uh, movie clip that we made in the previous uh, lesson that we did. So there we go. I might just give his nose a little color too. Maybe we could take a pinkish color here and go ahead and fill that in. Cool. So like I said, we're going to end up taking out the fire from behind here. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and take my eraser tool. There we are. Um, I might make my size a little bigger to make the eraser size bigger. There's a option down here where you'd usually find like the pencil straighten and smooth modes things like that so I can just kind of click and drag to erase these pencil lines I have here cool so that works now what I'm gonna do is we need to convert this guy to a graphic alright so we're gonna select the frame that he's on here. We could also click and drag a box to go around him. We're going to hit F8 on our keyboard. All right After we hit F8 on our keyboard, we are going to call him Space Cat. And we always need to make um, a graphic or an image that we draw into a movie clip or a graphic in order to make it move uh, on a tween and what we're going to do is make him move on a motion tween so actually what we will do is just convert him to a graphic for now and say okay and you always know something is a graphic once it has that light blue box um, around it and if you look in your properties bar you can see if it's a graphic or you could even click here and change it to a movie clip if you need that um, we'll get into the differences and uses for each later on in the class a little bit more so now what I'm gonna do is actually bring in my fire movie clip which I already have open over here so again if I click on this I should just see that light blue box I'm gonna hit command C go over to my space cat. Now where I'm going to paste this is actually inside of this graphic. So I'm going to need to double click and now I'm inside of the space cat graphic. Okay. I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to call it fire and then hit command V. And that's going to bring this in. Obviously going to need to transform it a little bit. So hold now on what is my gradient transform tool. If I hold on that, I can switch that back to my free transform tool. Click on your fire and let's go ahead and kind of shrink this down to a size that would fit behind this rocket. Alright, so I'm also going to click and drag this fire layer down underneath so that it is behind the rocket there. So now what I should have is a layer here. Um, top layer, layer one, is the cat and then underneath is the movie clip of the fire. So now I'm going to click back over to scene one, okay, on my main timeline scene. So when I click on Space Cat and the fire, it should all just have one box all around it, okay? And if I were to hit Command and Return to test play, you can see the flames kind of moving on our Space Cat graphic. So let's go into the next thing that we're going to do is make him fly. So what I may do now is maybe take my space cat and hold shift as I click and drag from the corners. Maybe make him just a little bit smaller here so that we can make him do a little more uh, flying around our scene. And I'm going to start with him out. I'm going to move him over on the left side, left hand side of my, <clears throat> my stage here. Um, and what we'll do is now create what's called a motion tween. Now motion tween works a little bit differently than a classic tween, um, but you'll see the difference here is pretty easy to um, work with once we get into it. So I'm going to go to the 50th frame and just hit the F5 key. F5 is going to drop some just blank frames in here so I have some to work with. Um, now I can go ahead and right click anywhere on this 50 frames here and go create motion tween. So it's a little different than a classic tween where you set a starting point and an ending point. Motion tween, you just create motion on this layer. And now I go through and I move him depending on where I want him to be on each frame. So I'm going to click on the 10th frame and then I'm going to click on the space cat and move him here. 
And you'll see that makes a line there that kind of shows his pathway. Now I'm going to click ahead to the 20th frame and maybe move him down to the lower hand side of this stage. I'll go ahead to 30 and then click and drag him again. And then to 40 and maybe off the right hand side, the right hand corner of the stage. So now if I was to test play this, you see our space cat kind of flying on by. Um, and so that looks pretty good. Okay, I could adjust his frame rate, possibly turn it down to 18 or so. If I go command return again, that looks a little better. He's not flying past so fast. Um, and what we can also do just before we kind of wrap up here is talk about how you can adjust his pathway a little more. So if we take our just basic selection tool and put our mouse above this pathway you can see for his motion, um, you can adjust this and make it curve. If you go over one of these points, see the angle there next to your cursor, you can click and drag and move the points as well. Okay, so I can kind of take this pathway here and curve it a little more and make it pretty interesting here. All right, so if I give this one more test play, you can see him kind of zooming around, scooting on his rocket. So uh, what we'll do after this is we'll actually take the Space Cat uh, movie clip we made here and we'll insert it into the Space Cat our globe animation that we're doing in another project, another separate YouTube video on how to do a rotating globe, and we'll add him to this scene um, so that we kind of create a whole bunch of activity going on here. So hope you have lots of luck with adding some color and doing those gradients in your space cat and getting those flames in behind his rocket. So we can get him flying through space.